This video is intended to teach you how to create better recordings using your guitar and GarageBand. So right now I have GarageBand already opened up. You should have this um, opening window um, that comes up, but what I'll do is I'll start right here from the beginning and uh, let's go with um, new. And because I'll be demoing yesterday by the Beatles, I'll just type that in. Now it really doesn't matter here where it says key um, because GarageBand really doesn't need to know what key it's in because I'm going to be only recording my guitar. Um, so that doesn't matter but I will tell it G for now. Uh, hit create. Here we go. And so we really don't need that keyboard there. We also don't need this track. So I'm going to go to the track menu and I'm going to delete the track that it's given me. And now I have a nice empty slate. Um, now what I want to do is I want to set it up so I have two separate instrument tracks because I'm going to be recording a rhythm guitar part and a lead guitar part, the melody. So I go to track and I select new. Now here I'm going to be recording a real instrument and so if you were going to record your voice or a violin or of course my guitar I would select real instrument and there we go. So I have one track but I really want to so I'll repeat the process real instrument hit create and there we go we have two tracks available to us when I highlight a track that means the track is armed I'm ready to record um, now before we record it's always a good idea to get yourself set up first thing you want to do is you always want to tune your guitar so using the garage band tuner or um, uh, a separate tuner uh, you can tune your guitar that's about right. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I like to tune by ear because that's a lot quicker for me. So um, I'm in tune. Um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you record with the click track that's here in GarageBand. You want to make sure that your timing's right on. Um, it also helps later if you need to edit and whatnot. So I go here into Project, and this is where I can set the key, and more importantly, I want to set my tempo. Now, yesterday is comfortable at 80 beats per minute. So I'm, that's where I'm going to set my metronome. Okay, so uh, let's see. If I hit record, actually let me check right here. Under the control menu, I make sure that metronome is selected. I also make sure that count in is selected. So that way um, when I hit record, it'll give me a count in. And let's try it here. Okay, let's try that again since I had to adjust the volume. So I hit record. So it looks like it gives me one measure of count in, which is great. And it clicks at 80. It's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to delete that for now. Um, just because I like to think musically, um, I'm going to reserve my first track for my lead part, my melody, and I'm going to put my second track as my rhythm part. So, um, the th okay, there's, there's some basic elements. Let me review at this point. Um, what you want to do is you always want to make sure you tune your guitar, 
And the second thing is you want to make sure that you set up your click track, your metronome. And so the third thing that you need to keep in mind is you want to record with headphones. Okay? You want to record with headphones. And so what that does is it prevents any sort of bleed. And so uh, if I were to record without headphones right now, it would record the click as well as my guitar. But we don't want the click to be recorded. We just want that to be internal. We want it behind the scenes. We can take it out later. Um, so that way it's not recorded onto the track. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, you can't see this, but I'm putting my headphone my headphones into the headphone jack on my computer and so when I do this on the recording you won't be able to hear that the metronome is going but just know that when I do hit record in my headphones I can hear that click track going so here we go plugged in my headphones gonna put them on me and I am recording the rhythm guitar track now here we go Okay, so I'm only going to record um, up through that first verse because this is just a demo. Um, you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Um, so I've got my rhythm guitar track laid down and let me play it back for you. So you get the picture, right? Okay, so now I'm going to create my lead track. Now remember, I need to arm the track. Oops. Put that back. So I click on the track, and you see how it's highlighted, and you see how it's also recording my voice right here. Um, so you know the track is armed. Uh, make sure you rewind to the beginning, and then I am going to put my headphones back in. So that way I don't get any bleed from the, uh, from the rhythm guitar part. Um, so what you'll be hearing on the video right now is just me playing the, the melody. But know that in my headphones I am hearing the rhythm guitar part. Okay, And of course if you want you can always adjust the volume of what's going on in your headphones by using this. So if I want it louder I can jack it up or if I want it softer I can bring it down so I'll leave it as is okay here we go I'm gonna record the lead part it'll count in for me with the metronome click and then while I'm recording it in my headphones I will hear uh, the rhythm guitar part as well as my metronome here we go so right now I'm hearing my rhythm guitar part two ready Okay, so there's my lead part. Um, I'm going to pull out the headphones so you can hear it too. And I'm going to press play. Let's hear what we got. So right now I'm hearing my rhythm guitar part. Two. So it recorded me talking right there. Sorry about that. Here we go. Ready. Okay, so I really didn't like that I made that mistake back here. Uh, and I know you heard it. Oh, uh, it was here. 
You hear that? I slid too high. So you know what? It's not going to take me long to re-record it. So I'm just going to click on what I recorded. I'm going to hit delete. Okay, and because I'm starting at measure three, really, because this is all rhythm guitar, I'm not going to waste my time going all the way back to the beginning. I'm just going to start right there at measure three. So here we go. Hit record. Okay, so I think that was a good take. Uh, let me hear what it sounds like. Okay, so keep in mind that whenever I was recording, I had my headphones on, and so in my headphones, I could hear that click track going. Um, here's a little bit of post-production magic that you can do. Um, you see here, I'm adjusting the panning. Panning is um, the location of the sound. So what I'm doing is I'm having, by setting it to the left, I'm having my lead guitar come out of the left speaker or the left side of my headphones and here I set the rhythm guitar to come out of the right side of my headphones. By doing that you create a little bit more of a realistic effect um, because in reality you don't have two guitars sitting together in the same chair and so by having it in the center it gives that odd illusion right which isn't very realistic and so what I'm doing is I'm making the lead guitar sit toward my left and I'm making the rhythm guitar sit a little bit on my right and so in stereo it would sound like this. And so you get the idea. Um, it does help the recording a bit to um, adjust your panning. Okay so um, from there, you can go to share, and then you can export your song as an mp3 file. Okay, so there's uh, recording your guitar or any real instrument into GarageBand.